Hey, Haas One Lady Gardener guy, back again. Today, we're going to do a segment on refinishing my bird feeder. So, uh, we've got our paint over here. And I'm going to go down and, and take it off the pole and bring it over here. We'll get to work. So, again, being an amputee, climbing up and down ladders, um, if you're an amputee, make sure you're um, confident and, and practiced on walking on your, your leg. Um, it's like, can you imagine trying to walk when one foot is completely numb? So it's the same thing. I can't feel it. I can feel pressure at my knee because that's where I still have um, my leg. But, um, you know, it's, I can't feel my leg so or my foot. So if I stub it, stub it on something or step on something uneven, then they can throw me off really easy. So anyways, so that's just a quick tip. Um, I am a veteran and... Uh, and no, I didn't lose it while in the military. So anyways, so here we go. Make sure it's steady and you have it level. So we're going to go back up there, I'm going to prep it a little bit, and then we'll uh, start painting. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and now I have my sander, and we're going to, as you can see, it's gotten pretty weathered. So I'm going to knock off some of the chips and all that, and, uh, and then we're going to paint. All right, here we go. So, got the sanding done, knocked off the chips, all that, and you can see sand paint, sand, sawdust gets all over it. <clears throat> so, um, this is basically what we're going to start with now. And the thing is, is in case you hadn't noticed, camo is my favorite pattern. And, um, you know, being in the Army, I used to, I used to, make a joke saying that I bleed OD green so now it's camo anyways so my colors are flat black a green a flat green and a flat tan color 
and that's usually the colors that are used universally in any camouflage um, color um, setup. So anyways, the thing that you need to know is you don't really need a pattern because if you look out here, there's not really a pattern. So you just make it blend and you know what? The good thing is, no matter how I do it, the birds don't care as long as I put birdseed in there. So I'm gonna get started with the black. So we'll set that one down, and then I'm going to get, let's get the tan. Here's the tan one, so. Okay, quick note, uh, just want to let remind you everybody that for safety's sake, um, use some kind of gloves, something over your hands so you don't get paint on your hands, um, and to do it outside. It's important that you have plenty of ventilation uh, just to stay safe. Okay, now I've got the tan, or the green, I've got the green, sorry. <laughs> I am not colorblind. So I get the green and we're just gonna fill in some of these spots. If you overlap the colors, it doesn't matter because there's no pattern. So again. You don't have to be fancy and make everything in the shape of a leaf or any of that stuff or branches because, again, it's that's how camouflage is supposed to be random patterns, okay? That way it fits in. Um, in this case, it's grays and browns and, and black colors because if you look out here, that's what you're going to see grays and browns and some darker colors okay if you're in a, a desert climate you would use more light browns maybe some white sand colors things like that so there's that 
that on all the sides. Now, the bottom, you just tip it on its side. This part is even less important because no one's going to see the bottom. But if you're underneath it looking up, then you'll see something. So. Got a little too much brown there. Green. Okay. Now we're done. So there you go. And once again, this is Haas, the one legged garden guy, bringing you uh, refinishing a bird feeder in camo. Hope you liked it. Make sure that if you did, subscribe and comment. Love to hear from you guys. See you later. God bless. All right, well, one last part. Um, all done. And here's some fresh bird seed. And I'm going to put this up because, you know, my cats love looking at the birds that come up and the chip squirrels and chipmunks um, and uh, my wife likes looking at it too so that's why I keep this thing looking you know pretty good so anyways here we go I built it with a little hole in the bottom, so I just set it on top of the on top of the pole. in the window and once again possible only a gardener guy hope you like this video comment and subscribe and have a great day god bless mm -hmm.